Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Golden Nova's First Reacts, where I react first to all the things you want to see reacted to first, as long as I'm the first person you go to to react to things first. Speedroid cards are the name of the game today. Supreme Darkness, the core booster set that brought us the new Evil Hero support, has dropped a few new goodies for all of us Synchro players out there. And by us, I mean all of you Synchro players out there. I'm firmly in the Fusion camp, but, you know... One of us has Yugo, the other one has Yugo, and it's my favorite Arc V joke that they've ever made. Uh, also, you know, someone else might have made a Speedroid video a couple of months ago. Uh, someone who's known for bringing support into existence after talking about it, so... Mm -hmm. Not saying anything, but I'm saying everything. Let's check out and see what these new Speedroid cards can do for us with Speedroid Crack Kernel. A level 2 Wind Pendulum Monster, 200 attack, 1800 defense, scale of 8. You can only do the Pendulum effect of this card once per turn. You can banish a Speedroid card from your graveyard to place a Speedroid Pendulum Monster from your deck into your Pendulum Zone. Also, you cannot Special Summon monsters for the rest of the turn except Wind Monsters. What else is new? Um, but this is a 1 card scale. Banish a Speedroid card from graveyard. You place this, banish a Speedroid, get another Speedroid Pendulum. That's pretty slick. Uh, as a monster, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon a Speedroid Crack Kernel from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Also, it is treated as a tuner. During damage calculation involving your clear wing monster while this card is phased up in the extra deck, you can banish this card, and if you do, it gains 700. That's a pretty significant attack buff. 700 from a base 2500 on... Just Clear Wing is 32, and then Crystal Clear is like 37, so that's not bad. It's complete scales. It's leaning more into the Pendulum gameplay that the deck has kind of had, but no one's really leaned into it because it's not better than what the deck normally does. But with a good Link monster, Pendulums are kind of a good fit. Next up is Speed Wing, wing Synchron. More Synchron! A million years Synchron will never stop. Uh, it's also Baby Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, so... um. Ah, I can't help but love it. Level 5 Wind Pendulum Monster, 1500 attack, 1000 defense, a scale of 4. As a pendulum spell, once per turn, you can banish both this card and a level 2 Wind Pendulum Monster from your Pendulum Zones. And if you do, a special summon a Clear Wing Synchro Dragon from your extra deck. This is treated as a Synchro Summon. Also, for the rest of the turn, cards in your Pendulum Zones cannot be destroyed by card effects, and you cannot special summon monsters except Wind Monsters. Okay, so this is the monster you are meant to put into the other scale with Crack Kernel. Scale this one, scale the other one. You turn both of them into specifically Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Not a Clear Wing Synchro Dragon monster, though I don't think there's multiple of those. Like, it's an archetypal name. Um, so you get the free level 7. And then from that point on, your Pendulum Scales can't be destroyed uh, for the rest of the turn. Which, I guess, gets rid of certain Pendulum nonsense. They love destroying their own cards. That's... That's the joke here. Uh, this card itself is a level 5 Machine Pendulum Tuner Monster. Love Pendulum Tuner Monsters. I cannot tell you how much I love Pendulum Tuner Monsters. If this card is added to the extra deck face up and you control two or more Wind Synchro Monsters with different names, you can send a Speedroid Speller Trap card from your deck to the graveyard. That seems difficult to pull off. No, what am I talking about? This is... The deck that wants to have a bunch of Wind Synchro monsters to climb up into more Wind Synchro monsters. This is probably just going to be par for the course. It doesn't even add, though, it sends. Though we do have uh, the one trap card that can turn into a monster, so there's something you could do with this. We're probably going to see this more used for its uh, effect off of putting it in the scale with Crack Kernel to make that free level 7 a Synchro monster. Uh, that once again puts you under the wind lock, but once again, what else is new? You're playing speedroids. You knew that walking in here. Okay, next up is Crystal Clear Wing over Synchro Dragon. Hell yeah, they are bringing us the Quasar Dragon equivalent. And, oh, oh, hello, what is this? Level 12 Wind Synchro, two or more tuners, and a Synchro Tuner. Oh, and Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. We always need Clear Wing Synchro Dragon on here. But we can either use two or more synchros or just a single synchro tuner. Um, so if we have a level 5 synchro tuner or a level 2 and level 3 regular tuner. Uh, I do like it. it gives you options. That's nice. 
Uh, it must be Synchro Summoned. Uh, once per turn, when another card effect is activated as a quick effect, you can negate that activation. And if you do destroy it, then if a monster was destroyed, this card gains attack equal to the destroyed card's original attack until the end of the turn. Uh, so another Omni Negate, and then adds the Clear Wing nonsense where it absorbs attack. And if the Synchro Summon card leaves the field by your opponent, you can Special Summon a Clear Wing monster from your extra deck. Okay, now that is an archetype of stuff we can get. I forget what all the Clear Wings we can grab for this are. Uh, high Speed Word Glider 2, folks. If High Speed Word Glider was so good, then where's the sequel? Uh, it's a machine synchro tuner. It needs a wind machine tuner and one or more non-tuners. You can only use each of the first and second effect of this card once per turn. If this card is synchro summoned, you can target a level 7 non-tuner wind synchro monster in your graveyard and special summon it. If your opponent special summons a monster while you control a clear wing monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Increase the levels of all monsters your opponent controls by five. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, good luck doing anything involving levels. <laughs> um, okay, so this card is bonkers, though, right? So you're summoned, you can target level seven wind non tuner. It's not like a link. It's not like a sync up thing where you could like make this and then grab the other material from the graveyard and summon it out. Unless there's some weird thing where we can make crystal wings. Unless we make clear wing synchro dragon and then like de lower the levels to make this and then summon that out. But very clearly it's meant to help make crystal clear wing over synchro dragon. We um summon this out, we get clear wing. It's got it's gotta be part of the combo. Maybe it's maybe we make it part of the rubber band shooter link monster that gets into the graveyard. We use it to try to make a level five synchro, and then that gets us back the clear wing, and that's five and seven, and it's a synchro tuner. So that's that's going to be really good. And honestly, speedroids and clear wings in general have been looking for a good boss monster since forever. Uh, clear wing synchro dragon was fantastic. Crystal clear wing synchro dragon. I feel like while it is a one card combo. It just didn't feel right, even though it's really good. Like, it becomes immune to monster effects, and it's a hard negate for a spell or a trap card. But it just didn't... I'm Look, an Omni Negate just feels better. Even though I do think the Crystal Clear Wing... Uh, controversial pick here. Speedroid people down below let me know. But I feel like Crystal Clear Wing is the better boss monster, but this is the more satisfying boss monster. Okay. Last on the list is Speedroid Clearwing Wonder. Uh, Speedroid Clearwing Wonder, a normal trap card that you can only use the first and second effect of once per turn. Target cards your opponent controls up to the number of wind synchro monsters with different names that you control and destroy those targets. Hooray! If your opponent special summons a monster, you can target a wind synchro monster that you control, banish it, then return the banished monster to the field. Wait. Are these both effects that can be used on the field? Trap cards your opponent is the normal it is a normal trap card. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can target a wind synchro, you control, banish it to that banished monster of the field. So it immediately brings it's not removal, it just brings the synchro monster back. I think it's meant to like reset some kind of effect on it. Um, maybe it's supposed to work with Crystal Clear Wing over Synchro Dragon because the Stardust versions of all of these, like, tribute themselves and leave the field. So we have effects that bring them back and then you can use the effect again. Um, whereas this one does not leave the field when you do it. So the Wonder has to be an effect that triggers in the graveyard. That It helps to make... Um, Speedroid, uh, Speedroid Wing Synchron make more sense. That's got to be what it is, right? Okay, well, that's... Yeah, that's everything that we have on this one. So what do we think about the new Synchro Dragon Speedroid cards? Are, are these even speedroid support cards? To be honest, it feels more just like clearwing support. Not that I mind though. Clearwing is like the preferred, or not the preferred boss monster. I still think high speed, uh, high speedroid kite drake is like the speedroid boss monster out of all of them. 
um, but this one kind of helps smooth things along to use the Synchro Dragons more. Uh, Crack Colonel has the utility with Speedroid Wing Synchron to make Clearwing, obviously. Uh, but what I like here is that because it gets any of them, you do have that complete pendulum scale. Smattered a bunch of speedroids from your hand. Um, the problem is that a lot of speedroids are already good at summoning themselves from the hand. We're talking things like Terror Top. We're talking about Takedum Borg. We're talking about uh, Rubber Band Plane. Uh, a lot of them are already doing stuff like that, so I don't know... Like, like I said previously... If you have a good Link monster, having Pendulums is just kind of icing on the cake, but I really don't know how far this goes beyond Crack Colonel get Speedroid Wing Synchron. Um, especially because this effect will banish both it and the level 2 Wind Pendulum monster, so Crack Colonel isn't going to be in the face of Extra Deck to utilize the effect where it banishes itself to give the clearing some extra attack power. Uh, same with this one that sends it to the grave. I, th this reads like I don't understand something about this. I, I need, I need the speed roid has to clear this part up about it. It feels like the intent is to get these into the face of extra deck, but everything about the bread and butter part of this combo feels like it would completely ignore that. Uh, this thing is pretty good. I do like high speed roid glider too. Uh, it also just generally accesses, well not generally accesses because we're putting a bunch of wind locks on everything, but level 12 synchro monsters, we can get there. And this one can help. Um, <laughs> the fact that it messes with our opponent's levels, I don't, there's so many decks where like this doesn't do anything, but there are so many where that's kind of just a, a huge, oh, you know what it is? It increases their level by five because it makes them high enough level for Clearwing Synchro Dragon to use its effect that can negate them because it works on level five or higher monsters. The future iterations don't care about the level thing, I think, but the regular one. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. <laughs> why would they why would they do that? <laughs> they they care that much, huh? Uh, and then Clearwing Wonder, I'm sure this last effect is like one in a graveyard. I, uh, and I'm sure that it is there to reset over Crystal Clearwing. Um, the removal effect is fine. I forget if Speedroids have like a really good Searcher card. Um, but for now, I think these cards are just fine. Hopefully this isn't the end of them. They're only showing off five here, whereas with Evil Heroes they showed off like a whole, the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, maybe we'll see a few more of these and it'll make more sense for them. Uh, otherwise, I guess this will just be a little five-card legacy support update, in which case, that's some nice tools for them. I don't know if they're, you know, radical new support that recontextualizes the deck, but it's nice to have. Um, experts, down below, let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. Speedroid combos. What does this enable? What's the future of the deck? And uh, what did I miss out on here? What did I completely skip over uh, that needs to be said about these? Uh, and then also, I already saw this earlier because it was just one card, and I wasn't going to make a video about it, but it was right there. Um, Dragorishia Kunzaid is outrageous. How did they print this? Um, if this card is in your hand, you can send a level 7 or higher normal monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do special summon this card, uh, Blue Eyes. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it in defense position. Blue Eyes. They made the Blue Eyes structure deck... And now they made a V-Jump promo of a big level 8 dragon that's not Blue Eyes, but it's very clearly the most Blue Eyes support I've ever seen. Maybe it's also Red Eyes support, it can, it's, uh, except the fact that this is level 8. You can send a level 7, but you're not gonna. You're gonna send Blue Eyes to enable all the Blue Eyes-esque effects that summon things from the graveyard, and now you have a free level 8. So you can make the new rank 8 that they just put out because they have no self-control with this. So, yeah, have fun with that. Have fun with these speedroids. Let me know all your all the info down below. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Today's episode is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Get the sleeves as strong as dragon scales and get 5% off your order by using the coupon code GOLDENNOVA at checkout. It was also brought to you by my lovely patrons, including this month's illustrious Quasar Commanders, Upstairs Media, and The Wizard Moose, Nebula Navigator's Third Dynasty, 50 Gigabits, Ada Basilisk, Adam Zagdell, Oexo Towahime, 
Anansi Dragon, Ancient Wizard, Andrew Newman, Kane Senpai, Chibi Gohan, Christopher Fuss, Clockswork, Comrade Copperbottom, Eric, Frankie, Garland Chaos, Green Knight, Gloomba331, Great Big Pillock, Hair Bear, Harry the Ominous Benefactor, Howling Zangetsu, Iron Zero, Iskander711, Carp, Leo458, Mana Charge, Marion James E. Picotta, Mega Combi, Millennia Asta, Mern, Muse Clark, Nathan Vig, Natiel Lee Alexander, Orozco 09096, Panther J, Pat Poos, Rebel King Lucifer, Red Eyes Jackalow, RJ the Jank Monarch, Serenity Towns, The Critic of Innocence and Thievery Coast, Cosmic Crusaders Andrew J. Whitaker, Ariel Kersey, Baden Von Titty Sprinkles, Bilzifer, Beluga Masta, Blitzwolf, Chaz Ghost, Dr. Reaper R.I.P., Eki Bullock, Eva Padilla, Hike Boyajian, Herbal D, Ignis Heat the True Draco Slayer, Inblink, Kale the Dragon, Kivon Public, Lobomaru 02, Manga Pages, Matt Simmons, Mick Spoofy, Michael Shimabukuro, Nitromo, Nyx, Obsidian, Shizuka Nijimura, Sophie, apparently, Stephen Williamson, Taylor Seymour, The Legendary Raven, The Phantom Knights of Shitted Pants, The Pokemon 52, Tiger X2476, Weasel King of Weaseltown, and Zaldreka, as well as the wonderful Starlight Explorers you see on screen now. If you'd like to help me in my journey to cover all of Yu-Gi-Oh's archetypes, get my videos early, be a part of these credits and other awesome perks, it would mean the world to me if you'd check out the link to my Patreon in the description or consider joining as a YouTube member.